Well, very soon here, uh, thousands of people in San Diego will be celebrating Shabbat. But not just here in San Diego. We're going to be part of an event taking place around the world in lots of different locations. Uh, joining us right now, Robin Licker, to talk about Shabbat San Diego. Uh, and then how we're tying this whole thing together with how many different locations? Well, um, this is a global event, and San Diego is one of 500 participating cities in 65 countries in eight languages that are celebrating the same weekend around the world. Now, d explain to folks what Shabbat is for folks that don't know. Well, Shabbat is the observance from sundown on Friday evening until stars out on Saturday evening. And it is a religious um, experience whereby you immerse yourself in the holiday, in the event, and in the celebration of Shabbat and feel your Jewish pride. Uh -huh. I'm just, I'm looking at, at video here of this, uh, of a huge event in well, the past. It, it, we're very proud to say that this year we've expanded upon the program. Um, a couple of things that are really different this year. Um, we're having pre-events between now and the actual uh, Chalabek, which is what you're looking at on October 22nd. We have all sorts of events around the, country, uh, around the city, such as lectures, informational sessions, fitness sessions, hands-on things, demonstrations. And these will occur between now and October 22nd. Then on October 22nd is the Mega Chalabek, but this year we have two events one in North County and one in East County to make it more convenient for people. Now, a mega holla break, we've got to explain what holla is for folks, and I'm going to go do that in just a second with uh, right. Sarah over here. Exactly. But and what's the significance? Well, she'll explain to you more about that, but um, this will be happening on those dates whereby um, people will be demonstrating and explaining the significance of the challah making process. And um, that is just one of many events that we are ho holding. Besides that, of course, the Shabbat itself is so important. And we are having many locations around San Diego whereby people can participate in a home-hosted Shabbat or else congregational or organizational Shabbats. Um, of course, there are dinners, there are lunches, there, there's the significance of the Shabbat, there are lectures, there are afternoon sessions, and then, of course, to culminate in fantastic Havdalah celebration, which is the end of Shabbat, and this will be followed by this legendary superstar by the name of David Dor, who's coming out from Israel, and we'll have this phenomenal concert followed by a dessert reception. Beautiful. Okay, we've got the information on the screen, ShabbatSanDiego.org. I'm going to go over here and talk to uh, Sarah Fratkin about actually making hala. Wonderful. Uh, right. Thank you. But thank you very much. This is one of those great segments where I get up and I walk <laughs> over here to the kitchen. How's that? Awesome. Who ran into something over there? Did you run into something? Perfect. <laughs> I pulled it off, managed to get over here without tripping. Um, Sarah, explain to me what challah is. Challah is actually a holy kind of bread. It's a bread made up of seven ingredients. We have flour, eggs, oil, sugar, salt, water, and yeast. We combine these ingredients and we make it into a bread. Now it seems like it could just be any bread, but really this has a lot of meaning. And that is one of the amazing things about when we do challah in groups is that we explain each of these um, different ingredients and what the special meaning is. Well, can Every you go through a, an abbreviated version of that? I, 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 I'm, I'm really curious. Have? But I, I know, that's what I said when I said abbreviated um, version. Are you going to actually mix the ingredients? So for we're going to put in all the ingredients, okay. and each ingredient, you know, for example, sugar seems very obvious. It's sweet. It's adding sweetness to our lives. So when we're adding the challah, the sugar to our challah, we are actually thinking about the sweetness that we're adding to our lives. Um, the oil, we are anointing every family member when we are pouring the oil into our challah. So when I'm going to pour in my oil, I think of each one of my children. So you meditate son. on these things as you are making the bread. As we are making, making the, bread. the bread, we are thinking of all these ingredients and how they can better our lives and make it more spiritual and make it more fun and really realizing that our life has purpose and meaning. And when we put that all those ingredients together, we form it into this amazing dough. This is what all these ingredients turn into. Beautiful. And you can really realize how good things, bad things, everything together we can make turn into something positive. We start off Shabbat with this bread. This is when Shabbat comes in, we light our candles, we make a blessing over wine, and we sit down and have a beautiful meal every single Friday night with this bread. And now, is the bread braided just for fun? Um, or is there a meaning for that as well? There is a meaning to it I, as I well. I kind of thought there might be. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a preparation for a six braid. It's very simple to make a six braid. It might not look it, but it's really, really simple how quickly and easily we can make a six braid um, 
Chala. The sixth braid represents, um, it's actually 12. We have two Chalot every single Friday night. And what happens is, is that six times two is 12. In the Holy Temple, there were 12 showbreads. And these showbreads, we want to represent them even though we don't have the Holy Temple anymore. This is a reminder every single week of the showbreads that we had. <laughs> she Here says, you go. this is very easy. She says, anybody can do that. But look at that. That is amazing. Okay, what happens it with the rest of the dough? This is what Nothing my goes to waste. This is what my kids get to play with. <laughs> <laughs> and Beautiful. It's really something so meaningful that they get to participate in to them it's so fun. How can I make challah when they're in school? They have to be part of this. And that's, you know, the mega challah bakes, children, family, everybody's invited because it really is a family event. So this is where everybody comes out and they'll, they'll make challah as a family? Make challah as a family. My kids make this every week in school on Friday and here it's going to be a family event where they can do this. Fantastic. So I'll and save this piece for my children. You save it for the kids and we'll bake this up. Nothing goes to waste. And uh, the information is on the screen so everybody can come out and participate. I hope you will all be there. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And for just a little little taste of the uh, the education there. Absolutely. Beautiful and thing. you can taste it in real life as well. Uh, can we do that during the break? Absolutely. Excellent. All right. Next on San Diego Living, money-saving tips.